First time. It's my first time ever being in California. Very exciting. But we're in 500 feet, so got a ways to go. So still we got not down? No, still, <laughs> still, still going. Um, we got some absolutely perfect weather. Literally, not a cloud in the sky. Flat, calm. It's beautiful here. You're on it. You're on it. Wow. Literally. <laughs> First yeah. California hookup. First West Coast There we go. I literally was on bottom for a second. You silently slaying over here, Dylan? Yeah, I just hooked something. He's ones. Uh, it's there. It's a good one. We'll, we'll bring him up. Adam. I got a little one on there. I'm going to drop him back down and see if so I'm going to get a second one. Or something bigger. Burke's got the biggest one for sure. Yeah. You think so? Oh, yeah. He's got something nice. We're also using 16 ounces of lead. Big one? Yeah. That's, oh, look at Adam. He's like, I think I got some small ones. Oh, oh just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting big. Just, uh, <laughs> slow, <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. Rook's first rock fish. Yay! Yeah, I do the black cod out of red. Oh, nice one. Very good. Oh, my God. Nice oh, red. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. First fish for me over here on the west coast. This one's what, a, you said a vermilion? I think that's a Mexican, right? That's a red. That's a red. That's a red. The difference is this part right here, where how it's how it's kind of orange and black right here. On a, on a Mexican rockfish, this whole area right here is all black. You can okay. see it, there's no little orange in there, and then the stripe on it is super orange. You'll see it when it comes up. These are such beautiful fish. Oh, they're so good to eat. So pretty. They're really cold. How cold is this water? Um, it's 72 here, but down deep there, it's probably like 60. So 70 up top, down there, probably 60 degrees, and these guys are nice and cold. And these cold water fish, you can't beat the taste of them. They're absolutely delicious, so I am so excited to fillet some of these up. So we're bleeding every single one of the fish that comes up today. Just sticking them in the gills and then put them in this water, letting them bleed out, and then eventually put them in a cooler of ice. How are you doing over there, Adam? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> this weather. I think it I got, snagged the bottom. Got kind of heavy for him over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, the silent man. slayer over there in the corner. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, big Mexican rockfish. Now you oh. see the difference on that? You see how black the, yeah. the back is on this one here? Thank you, thank you. It doesn't have any of the orange spots in it. Wow. And you can see the other one there too. Watch the, how the stripe's super orange. The back is black. This stripe is kind of white. And then it's got splotches of lighter orange mixed with the black. So this is the big difference between Mexican rockfish and vermilion red snapper. I think I got one like yours. Beautiful. That's the biggest one of the day so far. Dylan's all quiet wow. back there. I'm going back down. I got a nice one. I know. Do I you? Know. Dylan's hooked up. Yeah, something, something maybe like Adam's, I can only hope. Woo, nice. nice. There we go. Oh, hell yeah. Check him out. We got a Bosco, a vermilion rockfish, and we got a Mexican rockfish right here. This big, this big one. These are less common. These are these are found in the more deep water, typically, that just opened up for us. I got one. Oh, I, go. This one feels bigger than the last one. Yeah, that's a better one. 
What happened, girl? Yep, mine's coming up. Bad news. Never do you ever want to drop down to 500 feet and reel up empty handed. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go nice and slow. Did not pull them off this time? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Pretty unbelievable. On tap. So the limit for these is 10 per person. 10 per person or five reds as an individual species. <laughs> Perfect steamer red right here. Little one to two pounder. Red vermilion. Oh, spiky sucker. There he is. Nice eater grade. Oh, oh not a trophy, but he oh, got it. Here we go. Patience pays off, bro. He knew he had one on the line. Brought it up. He said, you know what? I'm not happy with that. <laughs> he set it back down. He waited, what, 20, 25 seconds? Hooked up. Now he's got what he really wants. That feels, that got feels like better. Yeah. Two, three pounder plus something else. I either got a double or I got a big one. Much bigger than the first fish I caught. Double. Right behind you. Look at that. Oh, look at that bendo. Nice double. <laughs> That's a big Beauties. One. It's called the redemption double right there. Oh, there we go. Another double. More doubles coming over. Nice. I got you, dude. Adam says he doesn't want just one. He only pulls up doubles. <laughs> oh, look at the doubles around the boat. There we go. So that's the same as this, a red, right? And this Correct. is a vodka. Yeah, Correct. There you go. Look at that. You want to hold them up and explain, bro? I'm learning my species. This is a Bosco. That's a red. Big Bosco. Look at him. Birthday doubles. Oh, yeah. Birthday, birthday doubles. Very good. Wow. Nice. We take those around here. Got a big one. Oh, he's been getting. He's been getting hammered. Adam is Bro, he lets it sit down there. He's patient, and then it just gets destroyed. Patience pays, Then he has to use his knee because it just gets gnarly. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Giant chili. That was about Four as big as these ones come. What is this? This is called a chili pepper rockfish. And this is literally about as big as they come. He looks like a chili pepper. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. He's like long and skinny. Oh, kind of round. Dude, Look they're at him. Red looking when they're that Happy big. Happy birthday, awesome. chili pepper. Big, beautiful chili. That's cool. They don't come that big too often. Very good. So cool. Green stripe. I've never had it. Adam has on it. Chili pepper. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Champion. Oh, champion. 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 Adam, I don't think you've gotten any singles. It's all doubles over here. <laughs> it's my secret and, corner. And good size ones. The secret corner over here. They like this spot. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Wow. Good job. Yeah, I can't complain about that. That's worth the 500 feet. So we've probably caught seven to eight different species of rockfish. And it's really funny because they're all very, very similar with just a little bit difference on most of them. And when you first look, you're like, oh, it's the same thing. And then you have to tell the littlest difference and then you know the different species. But he said that there's like three do dozen different species with 15 common ones and we caught eight. So pretty cool. And these are, are these green stripes? Yes, yes. those are all green right. stripes. And no size limit on any of these species. So we're literally right next to this island that's in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> you can hear the sea lions and I've never seen a sea lion in person before. I mean, I guess like at a zoo or something, but you can hear them from way over here. Roger There you go. Right here. Yeah, girl! <laughs> Woo! Goodness! 
All right, guys, so we are anchored up with the island just behind us. And we're sitting here with our baits down. We got, what, six rods in the water? And we've been waiting for a bite. Just got our first one. This rod doubled over. Like Victor was on it immediately. Like you might need to go up to the bow. Uh, this one's underneath you. you might come, up this way, Brian. come up this way. Come up this way. Because we're on anchor. Right, this one. Sorry. Here, have someone grab that rod from you, Brooke. And you're going to follow him up. He's on a circle hook. There you go. So she's taking us all around town. Yeah. All right, still on. Still on. Oh my still God. Fresh. Nice. Way to stay connected, thought, Brooke. <laughs> Good job, bro. That's me. I thought okay. it was gone for a second. He wants to make you work for it, Brooke. That's okay. I'll work with him. How epic is this? You got tight on a nice fish in Southern California <laughs> with the island in the background. Um, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. So I already for, see color. I'll, it's got color. I'll free spool if needed. Oh, you have some drama. Yeah, there you go, you're good. Sick. Is it a big halibut or what is it? I think it's a yellow, by the way. It's biting. It's getting close to the <gasps> anchor. It's, oh, it I don't know. I think it's a yellow. I saw silver flash. Nice and smooth, just like you're doing. You're doing a perfect job. Of course, so the fish like wants to take us to the bow. Should we go? No, no, sit right here and just keep your rod tip way down. He's going to come out underneath the boat here any second. Oh, there's a battery right here. Is it a battery? Is it? Perhaps. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it, it is? Yeah. Should we go? It's a ray. Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good. It is a ray. Are you sure? What? Yeah. No, are you sure? Oh, it's yeah, a it's a ray. Oh. Dang. How lame. That's oh. not lame. You never caught a ray in California. <laughs> Come on, where's the excitement, guys? <laughs> awesome. Bat ray! Birthday bat ray! What is it? A bat right ray? Oh, don't let it mess them both up. Go this one over. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think it's this way, dude. That's why it was fighting so strange. Do you keep these things? Oh, this is like a cow nose. Yeah, it, I think it is a cow nose, just like ours. I think they fish sharks with these. By us. Florida, yeah. Oh, yeah. Florida, just yeah I like think that. these are together still, somehow. Yeah. Okay. Well, a bat, you guys call that a bat ray? Bat ray. A bat ray. Looks very similar to our cow nose ray, unless it is a cow nose ray, and we just call it something different. <laughs> Well, that was exciting. You know the slang for those fish, we call a mud marlin. Because they fight so good and they got really? to catch them in the mud. Yep, <laughs> seriously. Well, got my first mud marlin. <laughs> well, squid. We're making squid, Cali style. It's the heart of the fishery here in California. These We're going right squid. on. We're going right on and right down. Awesome. There we go. We're on a good squid zone, of course. Squid! Live squid. Nice. Dude. We'll take them. Hey, teach them how to handle them so they don't bite you. Yeah, so we oh, they actually bite? bite you? Oh, they, they bite them. They have a big beak. They have a big beak inside them. <laughs> right here is a beak. <laughs> you can see they're really trying to grab hold of my finger. <laughs> and there's, see the beak trying uh -huh. to bite you right there? That thing, will, if you put your finger in there, it'll bite you. you, you want to put your finger in there? Yeah. It could draw blood. Way to grab you sure? Is it hard? It, it won't hurt you. Put your finger in there. No, Look at my fingers in there. Yeah. Touch it. It just sucks on it for a second. You feel it? Oh, that's not bad. No. You get a big one, it'll startle you for a second. It's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> Trip. All right, Dude, put this one down on another They're so one jumping on the jig right now, it's really good. We're going to get bit right now. We're going to get bit! They were not doing this like two hours ago, I guess. Just night times so come in or right something's happening. As we're kind of just waiting on a bite, we're going to fillet up some of our rockfish from earlier and we're going to eat them up later on the grill. Oh, nice meat on these guys. Slimy fish. Definitely the prettiest background you've ever had when you filleted a fish. Absolutely. De they definitely remind me of a uh, a rosy, like our rosies at home, for sure. Okay. 
So this is the uh, vermilion, or the red rockfish, one of the species we caught. Very similar structure to a snapper. Look at that flick, look at how pretty. See you. This is the uh, Dillon just filleted a Mexican rockfish. This is the uh, red or vermilion. You guys see the difference in the bloodline right away? This is an even bigger fish and it has a lot less bloodline. The bloodline is usually indicative of fishy, oily flavor. The, the bigger, the brighter, the, the redder the bloodline, generally less favorable. As fresh as it gets right there. What do we got going on over here? We got a little um, Kinder's Cali Blackened uh, fresh rockfish, and we're gonna serve it up with a little bit of uh, yuzu kosho, which is a hot lemon pepper uh, sauce that we're gonna put on top, and it's gonna be bomb. Fortunately, it's kind of coming apart here, but still gonna taste the same. It smells great. Yeah. I'm all the way so down. Be really good. Good. Thank you.